if you ever told me that this guy would convincingly play this guy, I would think you're tripping. I will never get tired of saying this and reminding everyone that the Indian audience has a huge appetite for the horror genre and if done right you will find them celebrating it and spreading the word recommending it for the big screen experience for there is a sense of camaraderie and excitement when you witness a well made eerie horror thriller in a packed theater collectively reacting to every twist and shocking revelation the indian audience has such a dearth of the same that even when absolutely terrible products like insidious the red door or none two release in india they end up doing considerable business of the international films that i have enjoyed recently the australian production talk to me and the indie film smile come to my mind of course i also find myself revisiting several sequences from hereditary and midsummer but i have genuinely been craving for the hindi film industry to not abandon this genre the telugu film industry and its foray into a marriage between folklore and horror has been praiseworthy both virupaksha and masuda have been compelling stories bramyogam from the malayalam film industry is another example of the audience really craving for screenplays with creepy undertones and paranormal elements while the hindi film industry has more or less become obsessed with horror comedy i can only think of recent ventures like bulbul and tumbad that really left a lasting impression on audiences as i finish my mid rant on why i love this genre and want more stories to be produced across languages shaitan released this weekend a remake of a gujarati film wash that has been categorically wiped off the internet so that we can't create an ounce of a parallel for context i will don't worry the appetite of the indian audience i speak of should be clear from the advanced bookings of this film surpassing even the likes of article 370 with little to no promotion besides the trailer the film focuses on kabir played by ajay devgan who takes his family for a vacation to their farmhouse set up in a secluded village the anxiety within me would already cancel plans but ajay jyotika and their two kids head to this destination only to encounter a mysterious man who keeps on walking into their lives and literally inside their house presumably needing help banraj played by r madhavan overstays his welcome and refuses to leave only for the family members to notice that he has taken control of their daughter janvi played by janki bodhiwala through the use of black magic how the family curtails this unfortunate turn of events revealing several creepy and indescribable themes of devil worship and voodoo forms the basic premise of shaitan here's me telling you the good and bad aspects of the film so that you guys can ultimately decide whether to watch shaitan in theaters or not the underwhelming aspects seen to seen execution and missed opportunity other than the climax of the original source material you will notice that the hindi remake is a seen to seen recreation of the compelling gujarati film there is a definite upgrade in the production quality staging and score but no way will you feel like vikas behel and ajay devgan have brought their own spin to the tale unlike drishyam 2 where the integration of the character played by akshay khanna added an exciting dimension to a premise most were familiar with the climax is something that i will talk about later something that will interest viewers who have especially seen the original film i wished however that the film tackled my biggest gripe with the original film and that is the motivation and origin story of vanraj played by madhavan even though every scene that madhavan features in presents him in the most wild sadistic and essentially an embodiment of the devil i feel the hindi film would have largely benefited from exploring his seed his ulterior motive behind making the family's daughter his subject This is what sets apart a portrayal like that of Ashutosh Rana in Sangharsh from this film where his manic state and the frenzy with which he believes the heartless murder of children can make him attain immortality brought chills down our spine while the film spends ample time in figuring out creative ways to torture his subject setting in a bit of mundanity in the second half this is a key detail i believe would have elevated not only the original film but Shaitan too the only missing puzzle i can think of fans of the original this is more as a warning to all of you who have seen bash i am going to give you a time stamp right here if you don't want to listen to this but it's necessary to point out for those wanting to give this bollywood film a chance while still being fans of the original the climax of the bollywood film is different from the original film and those who were left with a sense of dread hopelessness and a void within them after watching the gujarati film would genuinely feel like the bollywood film opted for a watered down version of the same story This may be an effect of having a star at the helm of affairs and them dictating whether such a dreadful conclusion would be palatable for a larger audience. More the revenue, more the people and their reactions that people have to care about. So just a statutory warning. 
fans of Wash are bound to feel like this became a watered down version of the original film, especially the climax. The good, small details and build up. The film packs an absolute solid punch with its first half, setting up the banter and fun family dynamic, but never lingering on for too long. This feeling of love and merry, almost making us anticipate the dread that lies around the corner, wanting to pounce at us at any moment. This slow build up of the family's life turning upside down as Madhavan gets introduced into their life is exceptionally done, and it's the small details of allowing a stranger into the confines of what you consider sacred, your family, which acts as the building block. Blocks to completely ruin their lives. You might wonder how or why Madhavan gets free reign and access to his subject, but it is in these inconspicuous moments where you reflect and think about all the mistakes Ajay and his family made, setting up the drama brilliantly as Madhavan revels in the torture inside their home. Production quality and background score. The film is shot brilliantly, and I can expect nothing less from an Ajay Devgan production. I know very well that a film is going to be technically extremely sound. While the film is set in primarily one location, it has the ability to keep you engaged primarily due to the conviction brought by the actors and the manner in which several sequences have been staged. A big winner of the film who really contributes in elevating sequences is Amit Trivedi. Not only is the title track representative of the evil that Madhavan possesses, but the the score acts as a chilling reminder of his sinister plans. With a running time of 2 hours and 12 minutes, I can safely conclude that Trivedi's score never becomes overbearing, yet leaves an impression on you. They act as a precursor to the worst that is bound to happen and sometimes act as shocking revelations when you clearly realize the antagonist is not swayed like mere mortals. These are the most compelling kind of antagonists, whose motives are not based on the confines of lust, power or money. I just wish they explored him even more beyond just the idea that he may be a fanatic who thinks he is as powerful as God. Performances The biggest merit of Shaitan and what makes it a winner despite its flaws along the way are the performances by the ensemble cast. Jyotika presents the anxiety and helplessness of a mother with great conviction. Seeing her daughter become a puppet breaks her heart. There is a scene where she is looking at her possessed daughter, hoping to communicate with her, trying to circumvent the spell of black magic, but she can't help herself but concede to these evil forces. Ajay presents both a warm and loving husband and father through the initial portions of the film and a determined man willing to do anything to protect his own kin in the second half of the film with flying colours. I love the restraint Ajay brings to the table. His body physically wants to shred Madhavan into pieces, but he is compelled to control himself due to the circumstances. I loved the bond that he shared with his son Dhruv, almost having a brotherly dynamic with each other that is extremely endearing. However, it is truly in the moments of self-control of Ajay, as he becomes a spectator to the torture inflicted on his daughter where he really shines. Those eyes really do all the talking. It is however R. Madhavan as Vanraj and Janki as Janvi who have the trickiest roles to pull off. See, these roles can easily come across as unintentionally funny, when essentially someone is playing a puppeteer and the puppet, moving to their whims and fancies, but both the actors bring their A-game to the film. Madhavan and his conniving smile, his wicked intentions, he is the embodiment of everything immoral, and it's insane that this once lover boy became a manic crazy devil with such gusto and passion. I really did hope, I just have one gripe, that his dialogues were slightly better in the climax. He starts mouthing dialogues like, the whole world will be in my control, and it's time to start the party, which don't really have the depth of a devil worshipper. It seems more like a one-act play in a private school on stage. Janki, just like the original film, physically and psychologically may have been exhausted. Playing to the tunes of the antagonist, she really did come across as a woman possessed beyond reprieve. While Shaitan is technically proficient and boasts of brilliant performances by the ensemble cast, I have to say this with a cautionary tale, that the fans of the original film will definitely feel that the Hindi makers watered down the dread of the original. A solid horror thriller nonetheless, that will definitely be your cup of tea if you crave for production companies and makers to make more tales in this genre. And that was the video guys. Write down in the comments below what you thought about Shaitan. Please don't forget to follow me on Instagram, the handle's right in front of you, follow me at jammypants4. Also please support us by smashing the like button and subscribing to our channel for weekly content ahead. Thank you for watching.